We're looking at algae as a feedstock to make fuel. Algae is a very small plant. It uses photosynthesis to convert energy from the sun. It grows in the creeks and ponds, in lakes, in rivers. It's just a tiny microorganism. It has the fastest life cycle of any plant out there. It grows quite fast. We transfer the algae to butanol. Well, butanol is different than a biofuel you might know of, such as ethanol. A lot of people know what ethanol is. One of the problems with ethanol is that we get ethanol from corn, and that's competing with our food source. So we're not competing with uh, food manufacturers or fuel manufacturers. But butanol is more stable. You actually get a higher mileage because it's got a higher energy density when you use butanol than ethanol. The butanol can also be solely put into the engine, but the ethanol cannot. It's also better for the environment because not as much can evaporate off into our atmosphere. It's really just exciting to be on the edge of that groundbreaking research and really feel like you're contributing to um, advancement. This is actually fuel that we can make and that we are making. We don't have to create all new gas lines and pumps. All that would be required is just switching out the fuel and our everyday life can continue. We're not just making butanol, we're making a car go.